What's up with the fam? What's up with it, y'all? You feel me? Up in the building. You know, uh, a lot of people sent me this video right here. So I had to, I had to come and do it. And then somebody, Charles, I think Charles was like, man, you need to do a reaction video to this. He was the first one sent it to me. Then turned around. Then Wild Man Ninja sent it to me. Then Phil sent it to me. And Phil, you know, I meant to call you back, bro, but I, I was knocked out. You feel me? Once I got up, I, was, I just came, you know, did my little, and and came and started dropping this video. You feel me? I've been running around with the youngins, so I've been like in and out of consciousness. You feel me? Swimming in the ocean of consciousness. But yeah, this is that uh, Billy Carson, we're living in a matrix. Written on mathematics call what? A Durka? A Durkra? The <laughs> a Dinkra codes. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. We're gonna get right into it. I ain't gonna waste your time. We're in the third dimension. What we tend to not understand is that time really doesn't exist. Clocks exist. Hey, that's some shit. Uh, Big time mainstream quantum physicists and theoretical. And, and, and when people say we living in an illusion, people still don't get it. It's like, you know, it, it's a, it's not just saying that this is an illusion. Even the things that we look at and we make into something is an illusion too. time, the illusion. You feel me? Like, oh, but okay, I digress. I digress. Critical physicists are admitting that this is true now. We've been given this functional arrow of time, which puts us in one specific direction so that we can organize our thoughts and our days and our years and weeks and what we're going to do and where we're going to meet up with somebody and everything else. So we have this ability to coordinate and collaborate with each other. However, if you understand that time is also an illusion, it's something that you can use as a tool, but if you also understand that it's an illusion, then you can actually master time and you can maximize <coughs> what you're doing on this planet. Because if you go in all the higher dimensions, you know, we're in the third. So if you draw a line on a piece of paper, that's the first dimension. If you then connect those lines and, and uh, create a house on a piece of paper, that's a two dimensional structure, or you can move it into a computer. Anything you see in a computer that looks 3D is actually 2D. And because we're in the third, we can see down into 2D. We can see all the way down, obviously, into 1D, and we can manipulate those dimensions from our higher selves. Now, there are beings in fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensions. There's people above us because of that. I, it, it's weird because, like, from from my understanding of what I see it as now, like, we are all, all like, we are playing a role on each one of these levels. You feel me? The higher, the lower. We play, and we use them to our, to our, we use them here to do what we do here. But we use the higher, we use the lower, we use each one. But it it don't it's not a separation from us. They're still like part of us, you know. They see us, and they recognize the past, present, and future operating all at the same time. Everything's happening at once. There is no separation between the past, present, and the future. The arrow doesn't exist because they're higher than us. They can look down into the third. That this is crazy, bro. Cause this is what the mushrooms show you. You know, like everything all happening at one time, like period. You got you can do the just the word time. Everything happening at once, period. And like and it was like just like this, like these squares the side by side. How this is, that's how it was, bro. Side by side, but each one, each one of those squares was somebody life. Every square was somebody's life. Every square inside the square inside the square was somebody's life. Living all side by side. It didn't matter if it was uh, before Christ or if it was in the 70s, if it was in the, the 1302. It was all happening at one time, side by side. Each minute was on the side of every other minute. Every second on the side of every other second. Like, the second I was born is happening right now. Right now as we speak, I turned 15. Like, every second is happening on the side of each other second. And it's like, 
It's crazy, exist. bro. Because they're higher than us, they can look down into the third and they can see into what we're doing. The fourth dimension is something called a tesseract. If you go into the ancient text, it's Metatron's cube. Meta, M-E-T-A, metaverse, right? They got that from Metatron's cube. Now this fourth dimension is really something called a quasi crystal. And this quasi crystal hey, in the fourth dimension. You see this too, like you see these designs like this. This is what I'll be telling everybody. When you, when you see this right here, see, it don't have to be this shape or whatever it is, but whenever you see this, I don't care. You are supposed to sit back and let it take you because if you start to see these lines and these shapes and they're moving like this you ready it casts a shadow and the shadow that it casts it creates the realm that we're living in here we're living hey i bro i'm telling you look 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 man i look this is what that's exactly what i said right when i was on my journey i said we are not even the light from the sun because the sun shining, it was like, this is where we was on my calendar. The light was shining from the sun through the window into the house. But when it shined, the, the light that, that, that was shining into the window, into the house was still part of that light. But it wasn't that light. So, but even worse, the light shined down and it reflected off of the floor. That's not even a glass floor. You feel me? It's just a light color, so it reflected a little bit of light off of that that went under the stove, and that's where we were. And it was like showing me this, like, look, you feel me? You you part of the light, but you not part of the light. You feel me? You that light that shined through the window, bounced off the wall, bounced off the top of the stove, hit the bottom of the floor, and then shined a little light up under the stove which still wasn't enough to do anything, but I'm just saying it was enough to create this. And it was like, golly, bro. See, hey, uh, and I be thinking I be tripping, bro. That's why I like when y'all send me these videos because when I watch them, I, it take me back on the journeys I had and what I seen. And it's like, oh, it showed me this. I, oh, that's why y'all be sending me these videos. Good looking. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Living in a shadow of a higher dimension, that shadow creates a third dimension. It actually creates a fractal of it, creates this fractal holographic matrix that we're actually yeah. maneuvering in in the third dimension right now. Wow. You can address a fourth dimension of time like Albert Einstein was saying if you're just looking at a third plus a fourth being the arrow. But when you actually move up into another dimension, we now know in quantum physics that there is actually a fourth dimension. So all dimensions are in 90 degree angles of each other. And according to uh, quantum theory right now, we're really anticipating that there's at least 11 dimensions or the, otherwise the universe would collapse. So there really is truly a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way up, not just the arrow. Yeah, and that, that's what I be thinking. I be thinking it's a, it's a, uh, it's infinite, bro. <coughs> it's infinite because not just within your mind, but within the mind of the, the, the universe. And you know, like we only can see so far in in this body, like in this body, you can see so far, but that, that other part of you, bro, that other part knows what this is, bro. It knows what this is. And this, you know, man, <laughs> bro, oh yeah, I, that's how I feel when I be talking about it. It just sound like kind of gibberish because it's like, man, that oneness thing, bruh. Arrow of time, that's just something extra. I believe personally, just based off of my research, and I've gone through now over a thousand scriptures, texts, papyruses, cuneiform tablets from all over the world. They all have a very similar story. Mm -hmm. All these uh, ancient civilizations talk about beings, not just beings who came here from other planets, People that look like us, not identical, but very similar. In other words, a bilateral bipedal hominid of some type that can maneuver around, that has appendages that can manipulate the environment, because without that, you can't move out into space and other places. And they also talk about multidimensional. You get into like the Nag Hammadi, stuff like that. You're talking about multidimensional beings. And so in physics, in quantum physics in particular, they started theorizing on these dimensions and were able to even analyze and discover some that they actually do exist. And on top of that, they realize that 
the dimensions are stacked so packed so tight on top of one another that if you can phase shift your atomic structure your subatomic frequency you can walk right into another dimension and so they sort of hey just just think though right if 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 like these ones which i they i know they gotta know about you know the the mushrooms and the dmt and the different psychedelics but it's like if if you if your mind can take you there by reading just think if like they take like mushrooms or something and like they actually go see all that stuff they you know that whoa it's like crazy bro <laughs> i don't know but i don't know postulating what if being some higher dimensions are some of these apparitions and these paranormal phenomena that we're seeing are they able to maybe take a glimpse or a peek? Are they phasing through into our uh, universe? And so from higher dimensions. And so they started really theorizing it. It seems to be, and based on my research, that there's people living everywhere. Not just, and I'm not talking about little green men with antenna. I think that there's people living all throughout this universe in the third dimension. And I think there's people living all throughout. <coughs> yeah, I ain't even going to get on the alien stuff. I'm going, It ain't. it ain't that. I don't believe the alien stuff. I just know, you know, a lot of it, like, man, we, man, we as humans, all I can say is we as humans, bro, we create some, some crazy stuff, bro. You feel me? We, it don't even take for nobody to see it. Like, you know, you look, check this out. Nobody fucking ever seen Jesus before, right? Think about this. Just, just, just bear with me real fast. Nobody ever seen Jesus ever before, right? Ever ever nobody on this planet you feel me and if they did they ain't came forward and said anything about it you feel me but nobody has ever seen jesus but every time somebody have like a, sometimes ndes or dreams jesus come to them in their dreams and it looked like the pictures that they've been shown when everybody knows whatever that being was that walked the planet don't look like nothing that we have of it today but we will we we got all these it's like <laughs> it's like an example of jesus was made boom and and everybody mine made that thing real you know, well, the ones that accepted it and believed it made it real, even though it wasn't. That picture was never him, but they still made it real, just like like I said about the dinosaurs. But I'm just saying, we'll do things like that. And then we on this channel, we be talking about topas, and we be talking about different things. And then, you know, I see myself, the created topas that I made for myself. And it's like once you create a being within you it's easy for it to exist because you don't understand this is what people don't understand bro they don't understand that they the power behind the matrix you the power because you are the matrix you the matrix so you the power behind it so anything you create a, in it is gonna is gonna make itself so you feel me we don't never look a alien don't never have to land on this planet ever. We still gonna believe in aliens, even though we can. Let's just say, I'm not saying people ain't been abducted or anything like that. I'm just saying the alien don't have to ever land on this planet, but they already here. I'm just saying, you feel me? An alien don't even have to show itself, but they already here because we put them here. We just, we said they was here. We we did all. I'm telling you, bro. It's kind of crazy, bro. But it's not. It's not. It makes sense. It make a lot of sense because, like I said, we don't know how powerful we are. Right. Even higher, multiple dimensions. Maybe at a certain level, a certain height in those dimensions. Maybe they don't have a real corporeal body. You know what I'm saying? But I believe that the consciousness is there. There's a yeah. trinary star yeah. system that we know of called Sirius, the Sirius yeah, the stars A, B, and C. B is a fail star, in other words, Hey, the consciousness is there, yeah, because that energy resides in everything. Everything that got anything to do with whatever this thing is, in and out, bro, is a part of that one thing. Ran out of fuel, turned into a white dwarf. These beings were orbiting on a, a planet that orbited that star, according to the Dogon, not me. Came here, they're called the Nomo. The Dogon called them the Nomo, taught them all about the star system, the orbital pattern, 
our entire solar system, the names, the shapes, the sizes, the colors of all the planets in our solar system, all the planetary alignments, and they even knew that white dwarf star was so gravitationally heavy that one spoonful couldn't be lifted by over one million men. They even knew that. We learned that in quantum Man. mechanics and quantum physics right. in the 1970s. Okay, yeah, the Dogon legend. That's crazy, bro. Because what if the one thing they forgot to say was... <laughs> it was a mushroom. It was a mushroom. Because I say, why mushrooms look like uh, spaceships? Say they land on Earth. The arc that made spinning descent to the ground. Great noise. With the, and wind, see? See? They landed on Earth in an arc that made a spinning descent to the ground with with great noise and wind. It was the nomos. They gave the Dogon the knowledge about Sirius B. You feel me? See, because that's what happened when the sports come out. They fly like that. And then they, I'm I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just trying to connect the dots. Okay. I'm just... 70s, 1980s. You know, we hypothesized it. And obviously we couldn't even see that star until the 1980s. And Professor James S. Gates, who used to be the, um, the science advisor for Obama when he was in office, he's now the professor, I believe, at the University of Maryland uh, in uh, supersymmetry and theoretical physics. He rediscovered him, obviously. And I he took, turned him into three-dimensional three objects. And then from there, he found the error correcting codes. He was analyzing and accessing oh, information yes, about the ether of space-time, and he discovered that the entire ether, in other words, everything this soup that we're operating in without the, throughout the entire universe is running on a specific code. It's called an Adinkra code. It's called error correcting codes. The same exact kind of now, codes that run. Now, that's what I, that's what I'll be saying. Like, see, like, cause us, like, you know, being diving in, you be seeing all this stuff, right? Even though, you know, we, we don't, we see, we see the coding, the whole coding of the thing. And it starts from like darkness to creating, uh, you know, these patterns like this. And then the patterns going to other things. You feel me? It's like it's showing us the coding of this thing, but you know, it's like hard to kind of, you know, rock with that. A Dinko code, it's called error correcting codes. The same exact kind of codes that run what? search engines and web browsers. That's what's running the universe. One thing people don't understand is that well, everything in the third dimension is made of light. And so yeah. we are light and light is us. We know that the illusion of this avatar body and this chair I'm sitting on and the table that you're sitting at, what is this? This is slow down light waves. Mm -hmm. When you slow light down, and then consciousness interacts with it, it collapses it into what we call solid matter. So solid matter is actually an illusion. Right. For example, the only thing stopping my hand from going through this chair is the repulsion of the electromagnetic frequencies. I don't actually touch the chair. And so if I can phase shift the atomic frequency of my hand to match the same frequency of the atoms in this Hey, I'm telling you, bro. Hey, golly. Hey, because I see, hey. Look, when I was in the backyard and I was tripping mushrooms, I was deep in it and it did that, bro. The gate started vibrating. Like, because I said to me, like, I felt like we were, like, kind of slowed down or not like, or we was moving at a, a high rated speed in order to keep, because I think the gate slowed down, bro. I got, I, man, oh my God, but... I know it was like vibrating and you could see it and it was like you could stick your hand through it. You know, that's one thing that I uh, noticed that, that we do when we on uh, Mushrooms also. What's fucking trippy, bro? Golly. Hey, it's, it's, it's cool to hear about it because, you know, you having the experiences and you experiencing it, but you don't want to really go, ah, and think everybody is going to accept that. So, you know, when the scientist type people get to explain that you go, people go, oh, this yeah, chair, all I right. pass my hand right through it because atoms are 99.999% empty space. Because of that, we're a fractal. We have consciousness, which is also light. Theo said a fractal is when you take, for example, if you look at a, a hologram and you go to one part of the hologram, one tiny piece and look at it, you'll see the entire image in that smallest piece. The only uh, thing yes. you lose is a little bit of resolution. 
And so it's important for people to understand that this entire now, realm now look, is a watch, fractal. Look what he the said. The only thing yeah. you lose is a little bit. Oh, when my you take, God. For example, if you look at a, a hologram and you go to one part of the hologram, one tiny piece and look at it, you'll see the entire image in that smallest piece. The only thing. Bruh. Okay. That's another part. I explain. When I said I looked at my hand or my arm and and it was like I didn't have a sore on my arm, but it looked like a sore of like like a wing worm or something like that. All I know it was like little bumps and like almost like a circle. And like I the when I zoomed in, it zoomed me all the way in, bro, to where I zoomed in so far, it was the universe. And I'm in the universe and I'm looking and I'm like and then I started to come through the universe back to the planet. And when I came to the planet, coming through the clouds and everything, when I got down to the earth, I was above myself, looking at myself, looking at my arm like this. And then, boom, I dropped back in my body and I was looking at my arm and then it did it again. It did it like, like 10 times, like 10 times, bro. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I can't do nothing but laugh. I gotta hear that one more time. Is a little Wait, bit one more of time. resolution. One more time. And so hand to match the same frequency of the atoms in this chair, I pass my hand right through it because atoms are 99.999% empty space. Because of that, we're a fractal. We have consciousness, which is also light. Because of that, we're a fractal. A fractal is when you take, Leo. for example, if you look at a, a hologram and you go to one part of the hologram, one tiny piece and look at it, you'll see the entire image in that smallest piece. The only oh, thing yeah. you lose I told you, I told you, bro. The whole universe, that means the whole universe can exist on the tip of your finger. Under your fingernail, it can be that piece of dirt under your fingernail, you wouldn't even know it. And that will be the whole universe, bro. That shit is, man, that shit is wild, bro. That shit is wild. I, I, see, I, I love the It's a little bit of resolution. And so it's important for people to understand that this entire realm is a fractal of a whole. We're a fractal of the universe and our kind. And, and that's why, I, see, that's why Theo always say that I'm a just fractal. You know, I'm a, uh, you know, like the steak fractal, that's fractal, that's fractal because everything does kind of, kind of fractals. <laughs> oh, bruh. Um, hey. He's on fire. I don't need no urn. I'm already creased. I don't need no money. I got mouthpiece. You feel me? Consciousness, even though it's one consciousness, Hell. it's also a fractal of the main master of consciousness. And <laughs> it's really incredible that every thought that you think. Now, now look, he's saying it, but he's saying it the way that you need it, need to hear it because he going, you, bro, you got, you got, you know? You, you, even though you are that fractal of what that is, you are still it. You are, it. bro, let me, one more time, one more time. Let me do like, uh, and take that also back. Also a fractal of main master of consciousness. Our realm is a fractal of a whole. We're a fractal of the universe and our consciousness, even though it's one consciousness, it's also a fractal of main master of consciousness. And it's really incredible that every thought that you think in your skull, it leaves your skull as a form of a light wave. Every time you think, we know this because we could put it. I'm just saying though, I'm going, eh, I, maybe this is why, look, many times over, you feel me? I, I, I didn't say it this day. That's, that's crazy, bro. Just to hear it from somewhere else or, you know, well, everybody didn't say it on this channel. I mean. We get it. Put a cap on your head in a laboratory, put a little electrodes on it, sensors, and tell you to think about something, and it's going to show up on the computer screen. Mm -hmm. Because the computer's reading the light waves coming out of your skull. We can't see those waves because we can only see 1% of the light spectrum as human beings. We're limited. We don't see gamma rays. We don't see ultraviolet. We have this power of thought, which you have the ability to even travel through light, with leaving your mind and traveling light. You can actually connect to other realms, other dimensions, through conscious thought, quantum entanglement. Now I, you know, I look. I said that too, like you, you like through your conscious, through your thought, 
You you are connecting to all these realms, and you'll go in and out of. This is what we do, bro. Look, bro. I hate to say it. You feel me? This is what we do, bro. We've been doing this. This is us. This is us, bro. This is what we do. This is what we do because I, when you everything, you can do anything. Tangling your light waves with other light waves that exist in the universe, not only in the third dimension, but even multiple dimensions. Your mind can entangle with somebody on the other side of the universe. A lot of the times, you know, you can say, oh, I came up with this great idea, but you really didn't. You right. downloaded that idea because you entangled with the information big time. Man, man, that's what we was talking about. When you talk about something, and then next thing you know, you a gang of other people come out with, with almost the same exact thing saying what you saying. You feel me? This man, bro, man, look. Bro, this is why, you know, this is why I love this stuff because it seemed, it always seemed like, you know, you not getting it or, or you know, but you you always getting it. You always didn't got it, bro. You, you always didn't got it. It never left you. It, it, how can how can it leave you when you are it? It's in everybody. Everything is it. It can't it can't leave it. It can't just if it leave one, it gotta leave it all. Like you said, a fractal. We just us being a fractal is still the same thing. It's still that thing. And it's like, oh. My mainstream quantum physicists and theoretical physicists are admitting that this is true now. It's not woo-woo science no more. This is like what you're getting taught in university. When I was at MIT studying applied neuroscience, one of the things we learned about was this exact thing. The fact that not only can you walk in a room like you were saying earlier and you can uh, sense the vibe and you can actually transmit negative or positive energy mm -hmm. to somebody. Somebody's at a at a low frequency and you walk in positive and high frequency enough, your light being can actually raise their energy level. Right. And Boom, I'm telling you that that's some real stuff. When you like, especially like, cause like now, like I don't, I don't walk around with my head down like this and I'm always smiling. So it's like everywhere I go, like I'm smiling so much, people always stop me and they say something. Like, dang, you, you happy, you look happy. You feel me? And I'll be like, whoa, you feel me? Like, or just my smile or bring on the smile. It's like, man, but that ain't what we project in these days. That's why things is the way they is. That's why it's like, bro, man, oh my God. Oh my gosh. And if you're not high enough and then they're low, they right. can actually drop your energy. Level. Right. Depends on how strong you are consciously. And yeah. then also we talked about the fact. Yeah. Yep, it depends on uh, how strong you are, how the how strong your mind is. You feel me? Cause just because somebody else, and this is all it's saying is just because somebody else feeling some type of way don't mean that you have to. You feel me? That's it. It's that easy. Oh, cause that's how they feel, and it's okay. It's okay for them to feel however they want. It's okay for you to feel however you want, but. You don't have to take on other people's feelings. You feel me? I do sometimes because I like to play in it. You feel me? I like to, because I want to see where they at. I like to see through their mind or something. I don't know. I just, you know, I said we are we are the shapeshifters, bro. I'm going to say it again. We are the shapeshifters taking shapes of every possible uh, feeling, idea, whatever you want to call it. And we we the shapeshifters, you feel me? And it's like it's dope, though. It's dope. It's dope. Like that, we can entangle with information throughout the entire multiverse. And if you're able to discern that information, if you can put the action behind it, it could be one of the greatest inventions. It could be Web three. It could be NFTs or whatever. All this stuff comes from other places. A lot of the male in in this society right now are being it's emasculated. Man. You know, and a lot of it's. It's chemical based, chemical castration, man. It's, it's all these microplastics, you know, we're, we're inhaling them. It's in the food, it's in everything. They did a test on those microplastics. They were converting frogs, in, male frogs into women. This is just crazy stuff. So the testosterone levels in men are the lowest it's been since they've been recording. And the ability for people to make a lot of logical decisions right. is also dropping. Yeah, 
that's wow, bro. That is wow. Yeah, but things is changing. It's what it is, bro. You feel me? One thing, I don't care how it changed, what it go into, what it do or don't do. One thing it's not going to do is never going to stop, ever. It will never stop. Nobody's going to be able to stop it. <laughs> you don't, can't go stop yourself no time soon. You feel me? It's too fun to you and from wherever you projecting it from, wherever we shine it at. That's, but I'm like, I'll be tripping off that because I'm telling you, it was like the light shining through the, through the window. It wasn't that light. It was the light. Then it was the light hitting the wall and, and, and bouncing off the wall. That light then all of a sudden wasn't even the same light that was shining down onto the floor. So the floor, when it got to the floor and that light, and it was started to shine up, that light wasn't even the actual light that was shining from the sun. It was a whole different thing now. You feel me? That's why you be like, you do not exist. You feel me? <laughs> but that's something we're going to talk about next time. I just had to come uh, share that and just kind of talk over that video because that was kind of a dope video. And I thank you, Billy Carson, for that one. And uh, I thank everybody else out there that was watching the show and you tuned in. Make sure you hit that like button. And I'm going uh, to tap in with y'all real soon. Peace out. Peace and peace and, you know, and all that different stuff. Thanks for even stopping by.